In our Health Watch report, there's a rare respiratory infection that can take doctors months to diagnose. In the most severe cases, that critical time can lead to organ damage. Local 3's Shelly Botat has more. As a budding chef, blog writer, and full-time student, Justin Wang has his hands full, but he says he's just making up for lost time. Chow mein with extra veggies is Justin's signature dish. The 16-year-old is so into cooking that he's even written a cookbook. A big deal considering that up until a few months ago, he was on a GI feeding tube. My health growing up wasn't the best. When he was uh, just barely two years old, we found something terribly wrong with him. Rashes and a fever were a few of his symptoms, but it was a blood test that led doctors to a diagnosis of Loeffler syndrome. Loeffler syndrome is super rare, and it's a blood disorder where you have too much of eosinophils, which is a type of white blood cell. One of the many problems with having this disease is that these cells can build up in the heart and cause the heart not to function well. A chemotherapy drug was able to slow down the disease, but not before his heart started failing. At age six, Justin had the first of two open heart surgeries. But we knew from a pretty early age that at some point he was going to have to have a heart transplant. That reality came just last year. My health was decreasing at an exponential rate. Justin was really lucky. He was only on the heart transplant list for 17 days before we found a donor. His life is a miracle. Out of the over 400 transplants we've done here, he is the only child with Loeffler syndrome. I still have Loeffler syndrome to this day, but it's being very controlled and it's going to be all right from now on. Loeffler syndrome can affect other organs besides the heart, including the lungs and liver. Justin is now focused on educating others about it and encouraging organ donation with his blog, MyHeartTransplantJournal.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelly Botot, Local 3 News.